Hey guys, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making this graduation box to accept cards for your graduate at any graduation party that you might be wanting to go to. Um, I have to thank Heather, who is one of my crafty friends from Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creation. She asked if I could figure out something like this. So I did figure this out and I apologize right now. It's in my living room. Um, because it's so big. I just wanted to show you what it looks like all finished. So um, during the tutorial that's going to follow this, we're going to make this box. It measures eight by eight by eight, and it has a 12 by 12 lid. So it looks like a mortar board, you know, um, hat. And the lid will come off. You can see that there's a slot up at the top that measures seven inches by one. So it's plenty big to throw some cards in there. And then the top just comes off so you can get the cards out so really nice box really fun design and i'll show you how i can't get it on there with one hand um, i'll show you how to cut the slot and how to make it really nice and pretty and um, you can do this and make this for any you know type of uh, gathering wedding all that stuff i'll just show you the inside here um so yeah, let's get to the tutorial. I'll show you how this works and uh, how to put it together. It's really pretty easy and it doesn't take a whole lot of time. So let's get to the tutorial. We're gonna get started with the tutorial now. We're gonna make the box first. So you are gonna need a few things. We're gonna use some chipboard and this is some medium weight black uh, chipboard that I got in my, it's been in my stash. I honestly can't even remember where I bought it, but it's from Graphic 45 and it is, um, it's actually black. So I'm using this because this is a graduation themed box and I, you know, I want the box to be black like a graduation cap. Um, using this has the advantage that I don't have to cover this with any cardstock on the other side to make it black because it already is black. So if you're using regular chipboard that has that craft color, what you'll need to do first after you cut your chipboard is cover this side with black um, cardstock so that, you know, you don't see the, the chipboard. And then you can also use a um, Sharpie to color the edges of your chipboard um, after you do that. So um, I wanted to kind of give you that heads up. Um, so I am using that. So if you, if again, if you're using regular chipboard that's great but you will have to do that extra step because I'm using black I don't need to do that okay so for this you will need to get chipboard pieces you will need and I forgot to write that part down you will need five pieces of chipboard and these are medium weight um at seven and seven eighths by seven and seven eighths and then you're going to need some card stocks and there there are a couple different sizes because of the way we're going to put this box together so you will need one that's eight by eight that's going to be for the bottom of this box two that are ten by eight and two that are ten by ten these are going to be um for the sides of the box and how we're going to put it together we're going to do it really super simple um so i'm going to put this off to the side here now i do have my five pieces of um chipboard all ready to go and i did put uh, double-sided tape on them so they're ready to go so again they're black on this side and that's what you want now you can put pattern paper on here if you want but nobody's going to see the inside of the box because the whole point is to put the cards in the box and have a place to to put them so um, get those ready to go and then you have your eight by eight you have your two that are ten by eight and then you have two that are ten by ten so let's grab our scoreboard and we will grab our bone folder that I have in my little pile here. So I've already prepared one of the 10 by 10s. And basically all you're going to do is you're going to put it in your scoreboard. You're going to score at 1 and 9 and then turn it and score at 1 and 9. So it's 1 inch all the way around. And then you're going to grab scissors and then these little corners here we're just going to snip those out. We're just going to miter just a little bit, and then we're just going to snip those out. Okay, all four corners. So you'll need two of these. And this is how everything is going to attach. OK, 
Okay, so it should look like that. All right, put that off to the side for a sec. Then let's grab the 10 by eights and I've already prepared one of those. So you will put it in your scoreboard with the 10 at the top and we're just going to score at one and at nine, okay? That's it. Once you do that, then all you have to do is just miter those one inch pieces just a little bit. But we are gonna tab those just a wee bit, okay? Okay, like that. So you will need two of those. And then the eight by eight piece of cardstock, you don't have to do anything to, okay? We're gonna leave that alone, okay? This is gonna be the bottom of our box. So I'm gonna grab or get this out of the way. And then we're going to take the eight by tens, fold and burnish. Now one of those tabs will fold over the chipboard, okay? Make a nice rounded edge on the top if you want. This bottom one here will attach to the base. Okay, so we'll need two of those. And this project's gonna get kind of big, so it might be hard to see on the camera, but we'll still go through everything. Um, also these, again, fold and burnish. This will be a one inch tab that will go over the chipboard at the top of the box, and then the other three tabs will um, attach everything in the sides together. So we're just gonna fold and burnish all of this. Okay, I'm going kind of quick, sorry about that. Okay, all right, so everything's folded and burnished. So let's put the 10 by 10s with all four of the tabs to the side just for a second. Here's our eight by eight, and you're simply going to take one of these tabs, you're gonna apply adhesive, and woo, that is a liquid. Holy cow, what happened here? Came out like crazy. I'm gonna wipe that off if I can get my little rag to work because that was crazy too much. All right, let's do this again. Wow, okay, so um, because that's so liquid, I'm gonna grab my mat here and then I'm just gonna just put this on the edge, okay? Line that up. It's a box, make sure it's nice and straight. Leaky, leaky. Okay. I'm using black artisan cardstock from Country Craft Creations. And then I'm also using art glitter glue that I did get from Country Craft Creations. And I honestly have no idea where I got the Graphic 45 um, black cardstock. I'm sorry. If I remember, I will put it in the description. But I don't remember where I did it. Because that was really strange. I'm not really sure what happened with that, but it's okay. We'll finish this tutorial and hopefully everything will work out fine. The glue on the outside should dry clear and then on the inside we're going to cover this with chipboard anyway. Okay, so let's move on. So now this is the 10 by 10 and again I'm going to just add my art glitter glue here. And I'm going to do it on one of those tabs, and then I'm going to just put it on the corner. So this is going to make the other side. And like I said, this project is going to get big. Wow, I am getting glue everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. I hope you can see this. And I hope you can't see the glue part. Good gravy, I'm making a mess out of this. Okay, last one. I think it's probably because I might have put too much water in the bottom of my little glue jar that I keep my glue in. I think that's what the problem is. Okay.
All right, so now that we have all four of those down, what you're gonna do is reinforce this box because it's so big, this cardstock is gonna be really, really flimsy. Okay, so the chipboard is what is going to make this box stable. So we're gonna put chipboard here, 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 put the box together and then put the chipboard here and here, okay? So you're just going to take your score tape off Okay, and you're just gonna lay this down and it should be about a 16th of an inch on all four sides, okay? And you're just gonna lay that down and then I'm gonna use this to burnish, okay? And then we're gonna do it on the ones with the tabs as well. So I'm gonna lay one here and, let me get this in frame, and then I'm gonna lay one here, okay? And then I'll come right back and then we'll finish this other side up, okay? So I have the chipboard on these panels. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to glue the tabs to the inside of the box to create the box shape, okay? And I know this is really hard to see because this is really big. Um, I'm gonna try and do this so you can see it and not get like my hair in the way. But we're just gonna put glue here because we're not gonna cover the outside of the box with pattern paper. Um, you can decorate it any way you want, um, you know, with uh, papers or, you know, school decorations, um, you know, whatever. But I'm not going to for this. I'm gonna leave it black. I'm gonna lay that down. Try and make sure that sticks. It is difficult because it is a big box, okay? And I'm sorry about that. I know that it's probably hard to see. I'm trying to make sure that I'm keeping it in so you can see it, okay? So there's one, and then we'll do the other one here. So I'm gonna try my glue. You get the gist. So we're just gluing the tabs to the inside of the box, and that's why you can't put all of the chipboard down at the same time. Because the chipboard will actually help um, make sure that the tabs are covered and the box will be secure, okay? So, I have the one side done, and then that's when you can take your chipboard now while we've got it here, and we can go ahead and put that down, and that'll help reinforce that side. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to put the chipboard um, on the other side after I connect those two, and then I will be back, and I will show you what to do with those little top one-inch wings, okay? So now you can see I have a fairly sturdy box um, the chipboard is inside on all five of the, the spaces there. And then I'm just going to take my art glitter glue here, and we're just going to glue these down over the tops. And that'll just give a nice rounded edge. You will see these when you look into the box, but it'll be more like a, more like a, you know, kind of a nice little like rim of black artisan cardstock but again nobody is going to be looking inside this box but if you're like me you didn't want craft cardstock to show either okay so I'm gonna do that all the way around and then that'll also help secure everything together okay like so and then I'm just going to set it down so I can burnish it Make sure that glue is nice and spread and it's nice and secure, okay? So I have two sides done there. I hope you can see that. So what I'm gonna do now is finish that and I'll be back. We'll move on to the next step. All right, so now the box is complete and built and it's fairly sturdy and it looks really good. So I'm gonna put this off to the side and then what we're going to do is work on the topper. I'm calling the actual like part that the mortar board, um, the topper, the mortar board, 
Um, we're going to work on that, and then we're going to make the lid to go with it, okay? So for the top, you will need one piece of chipboard that's 12 by 12, and then for the cardstock, um, I don't know why I have that, um, you're going to need a piece, um, actually, two pieces that are 12 by 12 for cardstock, and then four pieces that are 2 by 12. And I was able to get these out of the scraps from cutting the sides, so not a big deal. Um, we're going to take... The two by 12s, you're gonna put those in your scoreboard and you're going to score them down the center at one, okay? Then what you're going to do is fold them in half. And I've already got that prepared with some score tape there. Um, and I'm doing this regardless of whether I'm using black cardstock or not, just because I want my edges to be nice and you can tell that there's a difference between the black colors. So I just want to make sure everything is pretty uniform on the outside, okay? So whether you're using regular chipboard or black chipboard, I would recommend doing this. Um, I think that it looks um, good. It's going to work out fine, and it's also going to make um, for a more sturdy project because this is a medium-weight chipboard. It's not, like, super stiff. I hope that makes sense, okay? So then what you're going to do with these, I'm going to put these off to the side for just a second. Um, we're going to just take off some of the score tape you're going to rest this right on the edge and you're just going to match the edges this is going to go right over the edges and press it down and then we'll go ahead and take the tape off and just press that down okay this is going to like i said help reinforce this make it a little bit more sturdy and make sure that you know this this project will hold up and it will look really good okay so again i'm just going to take that in the score maybe i'm going to fold that over make sure it matches side to side when we mitered we only mitered just a wee bit and then take off the other side put that off to the top there I feel like this um, tutorial is just a mess. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing the opposite sides just because, I mean, that's just what I do. I don't know. Probably don't need to. You can probably just go all the way around, all four corners, and it'd be just fine. All right, so I think it's easier for me if I just stand it up, center that, and then flip it down. Okay, and one more. Oop, I took all four of them off at the same time. I didn't really want to do that because now it's going to stick if I bend it. So I'm just going to do this. Lay it down, so if it's easier, just go ahead and lay it down. Okay, like so. Flip that over. Okay, so now that you can see how it's already kind of made it a little bit more sturdy. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay our um, 12 by 12 chipboard just right over the top. And that's again going to give it some more sturdy um, feel to it, okay? But before we do that, on the one piece, cause we're gonna have to cut a hole here. What we're going to do is put one piece down first, then we're going to cut this hole out. And then we will, this will be the underside. And then we're going to use the other piece to kind of round those edges. I'll show you in just a second. So you're going to measure in or down three inches in two and a half inches on each side. And then you've got a one inch um, space here that we're going to cut out. Okay. And then I also did a little X marks the inside of the center. So I took a long ruler and I just went from corner to corner 
and I drew a pencil line and then I did corner to corner, drew a pencil line. And that's how you can find the exact center really simply on this. And that is where if you're going to hang a tassel or something, that would be the center of your 12 by 12. Okay. Does that make sense? So take your, however you want to do this, you can use your scoreboard to help you out, which is kind of what I did. Um, measure down at the three inch mark here. Okay. Put your ruler draw your line, measure in two and a half, two and a half here, draw a line, two and a half from the side would be at nine and a half, draw a line, and then you need a one inch space so that you would go down to the four inch and draw a line. And that's gonna be this square right here or this rectangle here that you're gonna cut out, okay? So three inches down, two and a half from the side, and a one inch um, slot, okay? This is gonna go on our board first. All right, so I'm just going to, because I didn't prep it with any score tape or anything, and I didn't really wanna cut through score tape because it just kind of seems like it makes them more of a mess to me. going to center that right over the top make sure it's lined up okay and make sure that's nice and burnished down and you get to the corners okay Okay, now this is going to end up being the underside of the box, okay? And this is where we're going to cut. So, you are going to need um, an X-Acto knife of some sort. Um, I'm going to use kind of my heavy-duty one. And I'm going to use this ruler. I love this ruler. This one is um, a We Are Memory Keepers one. It has a piece in the middle that you can push down and it grips your paper. This piece here, it'll grip. And then it has this great metal edge so that you can lay this down where you want it. Okay, and then you push that down and then you, you, you have a pretty sturdy um, um, you know, a uh, piece of project to cut. So I'm going to go, and I'm not trying to go through all the layers the first time when I do this, because I really don't want to screw this up. So I'm going down gently the first time and then go back through again. And it may take a couple passes to do it and that's okay. And you will feel when it goes all the way through. Okay. So then I'm just going to line up the next one. And it doesn't matter if this side gets kind of on the ugly side because we're gonna cover this with the lid anyway, um, which is coming up next, okay? If we create this, we have to create the slot first. So I'm gonna turn it and I'm going to do this. Now I suppose if I was really super smart, I could do this on my Cricut which probably would have been the smart thing to do, but some folks don't have a Cricut. So I wanted to do it this way, but you have the measurements. If you have a Cricut, you could go ahead and plot that in there, okay? Oops, wrong way. All right, so we should be able to just pop that out. And now you have the slot to put your cards in, okay? So then what we're gonna do is glue this on the other side, all right, like so. And I'm going to, because there's a hole there, I'm gonna put glue, actually, ah, I'm making a mess again, on this so I don't get glue in the hole and it drip out. And then I'll lay my paper over top. Go around that. 
I'm gonna, whoops, and again, if, wow, if you want to use tape, you totally can. Wipe that up really quick. Take your second piece and lay that over and that will finish it up. This will end up being the top of your hat, of your mortar board, okay? Okay. Got glue on here. I'm just making sure that this is nice and stuck down. Okay, so you have that, then you have this hole. So then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get rid of the heavy one just because I need something a little more delicate now. And I'm gonna grab my smaller one. And what I'm gonna do is we're going to just cut the slits and then fold it in so that um, we can cover those edges and make it look pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to like make a triangle here. So I'm going from the corner and I'm just gonna make a little triangle. I'm gonna do that to the other side. Remember, this is the underside. And then I'm just gonna draw a slit down. Doesn't have to be exact or perfect because we're gonna just fold that in, okay? So can you see, I did the triangle on the top and the bottom, and then I just connected the points of the triangle together. And then those will just fold over, and then we're gonna glue those down, okay? And then what that's gonna do is give us a nice smooth edge right here, okay? So you can use glue to do this, so just put a little bit of glue, fold that over, and burnish that down, okay? I'm gonna kind of pre-fold it there, a little bit of glue. Fold that over, okay? And then as they say, rinse and repeat. <laughs> so I'm going to just kind of gently nudge that over. Okay. And then grab now I have to also tell you, I'm kind of, I like went through this in my head like a bazillion times and like I haven't done this before. So this is kind of my debut piece. <laughs> so I'm hoping it works out. I usually do prototypes and stuff. This is not a prototype. This is like totally what my head came up with measurements, um, how to put it together, how to cover it, all that stuff. So. All right, so I'm gonna fold that up and burnish that over. Okay. Glue. You could do this to a regular lid and just have like a box and decorate the box for any occasion. And then you have, you know, a place to put cards. So you could do one for birthdays, anniversaries, you know, whatever the occasion. You're having a big party and you need a place to put cards, weddings, um, you know, all that stuff. So I think this is going to work out just fine, okay? So now you can see how pretty and nice that edge is, okay? So there's that. So this is gonna be the top outside. This is where the cards are gonna go in. Okay, so last thing we need to do is the lid. And here's what my thoughts were. So we need the lid to fit the box, obviously. Um, 
this measured out at 11 and 5 eighths by 11 and 5 eighths. You're gonna take the 11 and 5 eighths by 11 and 5 eighths inch piece of paper, this is for the lid again, and you're going to put it in your scoreboard and on all four sides, you're going to score at seven eighths and one and three quarters, all the way down. Now, I've already done the corners for these. It's really super simple, but you're just gonna, when you score, you're just gonna take and turn it, score at seven eighths and one and three quarters all the way around. And then what we're gonna do is create these little tabs. So when you do this, you will see that you create, with all the scores, four squares down here. You're gonna cut out the outer three scores and then you're gonna, the inner score up here, you're gonna turn into a tab, okay? So what you're gonna do is cut straight up that score line for those four squares. And then what I usually do is I just, I'm gonna miter that one, so I'm just gonna come in at an angle and miter that up because this one's gonna create a tab. And then I'm gonna do that on the other side, all the way up, and then turn it and then cut straight so that you cut those pieces out, okay? And then cut that piece off, and then you'll end up with a tab, okay? So once you do that, before we put this together, what we need to do is we need to figure out where the hole is for the cards, okay? So here's our top. Here is the lid. Now, it's 3 eighths of an inch or so smaller than 12 inches. So you're going to just center it, and I'm eyeballing it. Um, but it's really, it's not very far on either side. It's like an inch plus like a, or an inch, an eighth of an inch plus a sixteenth on all four sides. Okay. Um, so I'm just kind of eyeballing it, making sure it's more or less centered. And if it's off like a hair, it's going to be okay. Nobody's going to notice. All right. So once I have that, I'm going to clip it. So that it doesn't move around. Okay, I'm going to turn it over. You see that hole? I'm going to trace it. I'm kind of putting my hand under there because the clips are in the way. So I'm just tracing on that we're gonna cut we're just simply gonna cut it out nothing fancy Let's see if I got it right so there you go so that way when we put the lid on this it's going to be centered in the middle of this mortar board and it'll fit right over the box so next thing we're gonna do is I'm just going to grab my straight edge here not this one and I'm just gonna cut that out. So I'm gonna use my scoreboard to kind of help me out a little bit, just make sure that everything stays nice and straight um, and my line is straight because, you know, with tracing that, it's not gonna be, you know, like it's a little bit wobbly. And then I'm just gonna trace that out. And if you cut just outside of that line, it's gonna be absolutely perfect. I hope that makes sense. But we're just gonna cut that out. See how far it goes. Okay. And then these I think I can freehand. I think that'll work because they're short lines. Okay. Cut that out. Like so. Okay. So now we have the inside of that. And then we're just going to put our um, box together. So this is really a super simple way to make a lid. So we're folding and burnishing now. And this is a nice way to make a lid because it creates flaps that cover the tabs that create the shape of the lid. And it's really nice to use this method um, because you can also put, if you're going to put pattern paper on the outside, you can put pattern paper on everything and then make the lid rather than making the lid and then trying to you know put pattern paper on the inside edge so a little glue on the tab and then I'm just gonna 
pull my edge up. And then if you want, you can, because this is a bigger project, just fold that over real quick and then um, clamp it. And I'm doing this really awkward, you can tell. So I'm just putting glue on that tab and I'm just gonna fold that over so I can put a clamp on it, okay? So, um, I'll do both of these at the same time so it doesn't look as awkward as it did the first time. Okay, so you're going to put glue on your tabs, and I've already done the one side. And then I'm going to grab a couple of my clamps, and I'm just going to put them to the edge to form the box lid, okay? And then just for a, a minute or two, we'll go ahead and just clamp that down, fold that over and clamp it down just to make sure that the you know glue sets so since i've already done this one we'll go ahead and take that off and then all you got to do from this point on is just put glue on this one inch flap and then just fold it down that will give you a sturdier lid side and it will cover up those tabs so you won't see them okay so A little top heavy because of those clamps okay so like that so then I'm gonna take those clamps off and I'll do the other side okay so you see where the tabs are that we made the lid this is going to cover them completely up and then that this lid does not need any cardstock because or cardstock any chipboard because We've got chipboard in the mortarboard part. So that's basically going to give it its strength for the lid. Okay. All right. So then just go ahead and do the other ones. Okay, so you're just doing all four sides. Just fold that down. Make sure. Trying not to get my hair in the way, like so. Okay. Like that okay so there is the lid that's actually going to go on the box so then you'll grab your mortarboard piece this is the outside the nice pretty outside here's the inside where we've got all our markings so you can go ahead and erase those this part's going to get covered up with the lid so it'll be good okay that's a little bit of glue, we'll take that off. I need a new glue eraser. Okay, there we go. So then this will just glue right to that, and then we're done. Okay, so you can use glue again, you can use tape. I did not put this on first and then wrap around the edges of the hole because I, I didn't want the little tabs on the inside of the lid. I want it so when you take off the lid, you know, it's gonna look pretty. I don't know, as a crafter, that would kind of bother me. <laughs> it probably wouldn't bother anybody else. Okay, so I'm just gonna center this and I'm probably gonna get my hair in the way and I apologize. And that should go right over the hole, just perfect. And it should be lined up. And just press it down. Okay. 
All right. So there's that. Okay. So there's the lid to our mortar board. So then you just grab your box and this should fit perfectly. Ta-da! Stick your cards in there. Let me see if I can turn it to the side. That's what it's going to look like. Like so. It'll be really pretty. You can decorate this however you want. And then um, if you want, um, we did have, and I, did, I ended up taking it off, so you'll have to do it from the outside here. But you could go ahead and let me put this back on. And then let me zoom out just a little bit so you see. I can't see what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to zoom out just real quick. You'll see my desk and everything. What a mess, right? Okay, so if you want to put a tassel on here, you're going to have to find the center somewhere, and then you can use like a button or a brad or something like that, and you just want to get a big ruler that will go the diagonal width of this, okay, from corner to corner, okay, and then draw a little X or a little line right somewhere in the middle, and then do it the same on the other side, corner to corner. Draw a little line. And I didn't, I drew the line a little bit too far down, but you can see that's where you're gonna get the center, okay? And then that's where you will poke your hole, and then you can just use your eraser and erase that off, okay? Um, and then you can just put like a brad there um, to secure your tassel. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? All right. So that's the project. I hope that this tutorial made sense. I know I was kind of a hot mess, but hey, we got it done and it worked. And this is going to be amazing. So thanks for watching. And I will see you again soon with more tutorials. Heather, thank you for the idea. And I'm glad that I was able to get it figured out for you. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay crafty. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.